In order to improve his chances of recovery, one of the legs of veteran Nollywood actor John Okafor, also known as Mr. Ibu, has been amputated. In a statement issued via his verified Instagram page on Monday by Mr. Ibu's daughter, it was disclosed that the comic actor had undergone seven successful surgeries in one day, including amputation of his leg. As of 1 p.m. today, Daddy has undergone seven successful surgeries, but to keep him alive and increase his chances of recovery, one of his legs had to be amputated. This development has been hard on us all. We've had to accept it as Daddy's new reality to keep him alive. Please, we are still soliciting for support from well-meaning Nigerians. The statement read in part. This channel had earlier reported that the actor's family had disclosed that his legs may be amputated over undisclosed ailments last month. However, controversial TikToker Martin Vincent Sosse, better known as Very Darkman, has also confirmed the update on the veteran Nollywood actor John Okafo, Mr. Ibu's health status. He enjoined Nigerians to reach out to him in any way possible, either through prayers, cash gift, or phone calls. That the actor needs his fans now more than ever before. He also revealed in the video that a lot of things had happened prior to this incident. That there were people around him who made sure he didn't go to the right places for his health challenge. And that a lot of things would be revealed soon. Alright guys, as I speak to you now, they just finished amputating Mr. Ibu's leg um to be very honest this is a very sad news because of a lot of things that have been open to surrounding how it led to this point where they had to cut the leg um i will say in a summary that um the man didn't have good people around him down to family everybody that was around him wanted to use him um both friends they all took advantage of him and then when he needed support nobody was there for him you know a lot of things went wrong a lot of times they would have gone to the right place they didn't go to the right place um a lot of things i don't it is not in my place to say something but then again um mr ibu should be expecting a, a statement from mr ibu really soon what i'm trying to say is guys put him in prayers put him in prayers he'll be needing support not only financial support this time but also prayer and love from the people that are his fans you understand and people that genuinely love him uh, life is very funny you understand and nobody knows tomorrow nobody absolutely nobody knows tomorrow we can only plan it's only God that does the rest. You can only plan. You can't fig you can't figure out how your tomorrow will be. You understand? Now to the other Nollywood legends. Um, a lot of them are going through a lot. See um the other man um that played uh, Mbakwe in um this thing Aki and Popo movie. They just he was struck. He had um he was paralyzed with stroke. And then um up to now he's still seeking help. So while we are still talking about Mr. Ibu, let us do well to reach out to that man. And as for Mr. Ibu, like I said, you will be getting a statement from him very soon. Please, guys, put him in prayers. And then, like I said, you'll be needing all the support he can get. Financial support, prayers, and everything. The account number is still in this video. Um, please, nothing is too small. Um, nothing is too big. And then anybody that really want to do something the account is there but if you want to do some i don't know man i don't know man anyways um we'll be expecting something from you soon <sighs> i'm just trying to imagine how that man will cope like man just three months ago you had legs and then now you cannot <laughs> you don't have leg again that means he can no longer do some type of movies anymore. He cannot even go to set again. He can't do movies again. <laughs> it's life. Be careful people that are around you in life, I swear. Be careful with the people that you bring close to you. That's just life. A lot of things will be unfolded very soon. But like I said, it's not in my place. Let's wait for Mr. Ibu and then... Peace, guys. John Okafo had severally told the world that a few people had attempted to kill him, severally, including his kinsmen, but he had somewhat escaped. He narrated an incident in Abuja 
Newi, and some other places where he was poisoned, beaten to pulp, but somehow he survived. Does seem like since they couldn't kill him, they resorted to other sinister moves as wicked as this one. Many people have insinuated that he may have stepped on African magic on the last movie set he was at. And that was when his problem started. It is however unclear whether he would still travel abroad for further treatment as his latest statement did not say anything about it. I don't know if gave me poison. I can't even go near with saying we get shot for near with the only day begin to see. Give me finish and uh, shocking some poison and send them out. I don't know where they are, I don't know where they live there. So my boys and my dancers they came and picked me up. I'm not awake until they carry me go home. They don't give up. They carry me go home. They only will reach I wake. God said, no, we are not going yet. Where they, they snapped me with the camera as I wake. All this is what they told me. You know, one person don't go now, I know. Just on the day, no. They here. God, I love you so much. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, if not for God Almighty, I would have been a story. Perpetrated by people who don't love me. And then those of them who thought that uh, it's better they kill me than living. Well, I leave the case for God Almighty. Whatever they think I have done bad, let God judge. But if they are chasing me because their plans are many, even here in my office, they brought the first poison here, I took it, I was falling around here vomiting, nobody came to ask. Even the workers did not enter here, even though they were hearing me fall around. The first one go I vomited something. Many, even here in my office, they brought the first poison here. I took it. I was falling around here vomiting. Nobody came to ask. Even the workers did not enter here, even though they were hearing me fall around. The first one go I vomited something in my bedroom. They gave me the second one. And the people they gave it is people that are working with me here. I swallowed the other one. Or knowing it, because I never suspected them. But when God opened my eyes, that is why all of them that were working here, but you could not see any of them here, except my sister that was working with me here. They pay them, give them enough money to make sure they eliminate me. All these plans are for me, you know, there are some people in my town, people that, and then some age grades, they were surprised that I can come up, I can own some things, I can build a house in town. Build places, uh, uh, buy houses, Lagos. Are you serious? Men are looking up. But their plans do not go peri peso with God's decision. If God has ever decided yes, you can kill him. <laughs> you never know me. Don't ever buy you like me. You carry camera and go. You know what I'm saying? You don't need that. But God say no, and when God say no, it's why now. They did everything I got up. Blow the cotton wool off. The Chris. I got that around. I'm happy that day. I know I don't to talk. I know the bit talk. Now until the following day I begin to talk. If I look this one, I look this one, I look this one, I look this And I look when they walk in my when they walk with me from my house. See, even my wife, when my wife comes, I say, look at this. I got even recognize my wife. God, I thank you. In the face of adversity, the Nollywood community and fans of John Okafor, also known as Mr. Ibu, stand united in their support for the beloved veteran actor. The news of his leg amputation and ongoing health challenges has brought forth a wave of compassion and solidarity from well wishers and the entertainment industry. As we hope for his recovery, let us remember the joy and laughter he has brought to our lives through his remarkable career. John Okafo's journey is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and as we await further updates on his condition, our thoughts and prayers remain with him and his family. The Nollywood legend who has faced adversity before now faces a new challenge 
but with the strength of his fans and supporters, he can overcome. In the spirit of compassion and unity, let us continue to support John Okafor, whether through words of encouragement, well wishes, or any other means available to us. Together, we can be a source of hope and strength for a man who has brought laughter and entertainment into our lives for years.